National award winning Giri Raj Prasad has been a potter all his life learning the craft from his father when he was a child but the clay he is using currently is no ordinary clay the terracotta in use has been mixed with treated waste from cigarette butts to is material se na ek to kya hai hamare jo jo bhi product banega usme porosity badhegi aur porosity badhti hai to jaise ki hum planter mein gam pauda lagate hain to paude ko jo vayu aur wo milta hai mitti ke dwara तो वो इसमें बहुत ज्यादा पारदर्शी है दिस मॉड्यूल ऑफ यूजिंग प्रोसेस्ड सिगरेट वेस्ट टू मेक प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक एशट्रीज प्लांटर्स एंड लैंटर्स इज द ब्रेन चाइल्ड ऑफ अ स्मॉल ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम डेली यूनिवर्सिटीज श्रीराम कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट लहर एज द इनिशिएटिव इज कॉल्ड इज एन एफर्ट ऑफ टैकलिंग द बर्जनिंग प्रॉब्लम ऑफ सिगरेट बट वेस्ट वी केम अक्रॉस दिस शॉकिंग फैक्ट दैट अ सिंगल सिगरेट कैन पोटेंशियली पोल्यूट 500 लीटर्स ऑफ वाटर in a go and that's when we realized that something that we consider to be very very negligible can out there wreak such havoc on the environment worldwide smoking cigarettes costs 7 million lives a year while the dangers of smoking are common knowledge what is not highlighted enough is why what is left out of a cigarette primarily the cigarette butt can be equally harmful for the planet सोचो जब आप वो सिगरेट बट कंज्यूम कर रहे हो आप सिगरेट बट उसका रोड पे फेंक रहे हो कोई एक एनिमल आता है वहाँ पे आपके आ, आ, कुछ फूड के लेने के लिए कुछ फूड कलेक्ट करने के लिए उसने वो सिगरेट बट गलती से खा लिया उस सिगरेट बट में क्या होता है एक प्लास्टिक होता है दिस इज नॉट अ पेपर हम जनरली हमारे माइंड में मेथ है कि सिगरेट बट एक पेपर से बना होता है नो इट्स नॉट अ पेपर इट्स अ सेलुलोज सेलुलोज एक माइक्रो होता है जो हम सोचो आप एक प्लास्टिक कैसे कंज्यूम कर सकते हो According to the Truth Initiative, an anti-smoking organization, a cigarette butt is the most littered item in the world. It is also the most common form of abundant plastic found in our environment. The National Green Tribunal has reported that about 100 billion cigarette butts get dumped in our landfills every year. In 2021, environmental activist Nirid Datta started a campaign to spread awareness about what citizens could do to help solve the problem. You want to know why? Come. For a little more than a year, Butt Rush, as the campaign is called, has been working with volunteers to collect cigarette butts over 24-hour marathon drives. So far, they have worked across nine states, covering more than 5,000 kilometers on foot. Today we are at Chandni Chowk in the Central Delhi area where Shankar Singh is leading the project. So this will be our 479 drive where we are collecting the cigarette butts. Uh why we are doing this I will say cigarette butts are harming environment so badly that when you ask people na that what is the most common pollutant in form of plastic generally people answer it's plastic straw or a plastic bottle but the truth is far behind this the truth is cigarette butts are the most common pollutant in form of plastic. Each cigarette butt is made of cellulite acetate, a kind of non-biodegradable plastic filter that takes almost 10 years to completely decompose. The World Health Organization estimates that tobacco product waste contains over 7000 toxic chemicals. When the waste disintegrates into microplastics, it is invariably consumed by marine animals. A study conducted by the San Diego State University revealed how one smoked cigarette butt in 1 liter of water is enough to kill both marine and freshwater fish. What we come to understand is that not only is the filter a plastic piece of litter that even if it degrades it becomes microplastic small particles that uh, can enter into aquatic environments but that it also uh, leaches out it's like a tea bag uh those chemicals that are found in the cigarettes after combustion and so these have been shown to be nicotine which is actually a plant poison it's a it's a pesticide rather uh and it has been used as a pesticide now we don't know what they do in terms of human health what we do know in laboratory studies that they are toxic from everything from uh, to everything from microscopic organisms bacteria to uh fish to invertebrates such as worms to uh uh you know uh all sorts of aquatic organisms especially fleas that are used as a sort of a marker for toxicity so we know that they've got this potential for uh chemical toxicity and we know that they produce 
plastics, microplastics, and that's now become a significant global concern. The Butt Rush Initiative has so far managed to collect about 640,000 cigarette butts with the help of 1,050 volunteers. While most of the waste is sent to waste management companies for recycling, a portion is sent for upcycling and for research and development purposes. What remains is then packed up and sent back to tobacco companies with a note that says, Your butt, your responsibility. See, we are taking a lot of things from the environment. We are even polluting it with you know, smoking or car smoke, noise pollution, a lot of things are there. So this is one thing or maybe part of one thing which I can contribute to the environment. So, you know, it's a matter of give and take. In the absence of guidelines for the disposal of tobacco waste, despite 2020 order by the National Green Tribunal, the task of collection, safe disposal and recycling continues to be a huge challenge for organizations like these. हम एनुअली इतना सारा वेस्ट जो सिगरेट बर्ड्स में देखें रिसाइकलर बहुत ही कम है रिसाइकलर से ओनली वन और टू परसेंट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर जॉब तो नाइन्टी एट परसेंट तो डेली ऐसे ही डिकम्पोज हो जाता है Project Leher is one of the few organizations that have been trying to formalize the process of collection and recycling of cigarette butt waste. The effort is still small scale. So far, they have directly contacted about 15 rack pickers to help in collection, paying them 4 to 5 rupees for every kg collected. Moreover, the installation of these special bins at cafes around the city helps them collect about 1 to 2 kilos of waste every day. Uh, so we uh, do recognize that, you know, uh, pioneering that behavioral change is a challenge for us. So we came up with our own customized bins, which are, you know, shaped like a cigarette butt itself. And they have very small holes, which will, uh, you know, just make you want to stub inside it. So like the smokers, when they actually see it, it's so interactive and innovative that they actually want to stub their uh, cigarettes inside it. And at the moment, if we talk about Delhi NCR in particular, the capital city of India, so we've installed around 50 to uh, 60 bins in, at various hotspots, uh, in various cafes, hotels, restaurants. The waste once collected is sent to Sri Ram Institute of Industrial Research, their knowledge and research partner. Through a proprietary method developed in collaboration with the Latimer School of London, a facility of gamma radiation is then used to detoxify 99% of hazardous waste. The processed waste then finds its way back into the economy through the Potter's Colony. We have to think about a long-term perspective for the project because it has to sustain in the long term. Right. So uh, we make the products and we have to ensure that the porters that, uh, that we make the products from have to have a certain income as well. So we ensure that they get around 25 to 30 percent of the income and we have various supply chains and value chains in which we sell our products. There are currently 20 porters engaged on the project Leher, earning about 10 to 15 thousand rupees a month by selling planters and pots made from this clay. Giriraj Prasad has been associated with Project Leher for the last seven months. जुड़ने का मतलब ये है कि ये एक नई पहल लेके आए हैं, नया डिजाइन कॉन्सेप्ट लेके आए हैं। हो सकता है हमारे परियोजन के लिए और और हमारे स्वास्थ्य के लिए ये चीजें जो प्लांटर ये बनवा रहे हैं मेरे से, तो उसी को अच्छा समझ करके मैंने मैंने इनके साथ में साझा किया है बनाने के Project Leher has estimatedly collected over 19.6 million cigarette butts over the past two years. In a country where more than 100 billion cigarette butts get dumped in landfills every year, each concerted effort is a vital drop in the ocean.